Volado Penny a Rima show If you be voting for Penny a Rima show If you be voting for Election is back around again Politicians out to campaign Well, people come in from near and far, they come in to stain the finger. Them you wrong the dial corner, voting penny battles in Arima. Penny, Arima show, if you they voting for Penny, Arima. All right, so Trinidad and Tobago, the cat is out the bag. Let me welcome to the studio of Street 909 FM. Good morning, Miss is Ambassador Penny Beckles, Penelope Beckles. How are you? Yes, Sharon, 91.9. I'm here, live and alive. <laughs> <laughs> and Alicia looking nice and rosy like me, fat and chubby. <laughs> we have to go and take a little exercise, you know. Yes, COVID, boy. COVID, COVID. We blame any COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on? Good morning to you. Yeah, well, I started walking on Monday, mm -hmm. you know, and... Um, Yesterday I thought with that weather that yeah. I would not have been able to walk, but no, Arima, in mm -hmm. the afternoon, no rain. Ah, that was so good. I to do my work. Excellent. Yeah. Well, you're the candidate again yeah. for Arima constituency. And um, I must congratulate you firstly of your excellent representation to for Trinidad and Tobago. And that ringing of that bell, I wouldn't forget that, you know. And they didn't say that and they still didn't pick up. That was awesome, special. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. tell me now, before we go into the candidacy and yeah. thing, tell me what was your what was your job like and yeah. so on. You know, I wanted to ask that long time. So yeah. tell us what you did and what you had to do and yeah. Yeah. as the ambassador to the UN and so on. So yeah, well, Sharon, that's a special experience. Of course, I want to thank the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, for giving me that opportunity to represent Trinidad and Tobago as the ambassador to the United Nations. Um, I've been there since 2016, um, and there are a couple important things that took place whilst I was there, because there are a couple elections, you know, people think don't see the UN as a, a political place, but there were some important things that happened. Um, there was a Trinidadian who became the first woman to serve on the Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf, the Landrew Clark. Um, then there was also Professor Ruda Radak, um, the first time we served on the committee of CEDAW. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have um, um, Justice Honeywell Davidson, yes. who is serving on the Appeals Tribunal. So during my time there have been three very important elections. And I myself served as the president of UN Women, the first person from Latin America and the Caribbean to serve as the president of UN Women. As a matter of fact, I'm still on the board. Um, and also I am chair of Oceans and Law of the Sea. And I was elected last year as one of the 17 vice presidents of the United Nations General Assembly. So I mean, you're representing Trinidad and Tobago on a number of committees and you're there talking on behalf of the country on virtually every topic that takes place in the world. I mean, there are certain areas that is, that is important to us, issues of the sea, um, the oceans, of course, as a small island, um, dealing with issues of counter-terrorism, um, issues of women and small arms, almost everything relating to the economy because as a small island developing states, I mean, we are fragile, especially if you have issues of natural disaster. Mm -hmm. Trinidad and Tobago has been fortunate in that within recent times, we have not had any hurricanes impacting on us, but we do have our neighboring countries that have been impacted, Haiti, Jamaica, Dominica. Um, but, and when, as a part of CARICOM, when your, your sister countries are affected, of course, you are affected as well. I mean, it's just like COVID. You know, we have been, the, the government of Trinidad and Tobago has done an excellent job in terms of our management of COVID. Um, and worldwide, we are getting recognition, the Prime Minister and the Government Minister of Health, the CMO, for that recognition. But we realize with COVID that even if you manage your country well, it's still uh, because other countries are being affected. Mm -hmm. It means that it will also affect you. Um, and one of the biggest issues at the United Nations is post-COVID. How are you impacted by technology, healthcare, transportation, domestic violence, every issue. So, I mean, every day we, you would have those issues being debated, decisions being taken. 
and when those decisions are taken it also impacts on Trinidad and Tobago because we are guided by what is taken on the international stage what we implement the policies on virtually every single issue so it has been a wonderful experience excellent Yes, so you're more comfortable there. Yeah. All right, so I've heard so many good things and that, but you're giving up all of that to come back to run <laughs> as a, a yeah. candidate and a, to get, of course, to be the next MP for Arima. Yeah, well, the highlight for me, as you said, was that day at NASDAQ mm -hmm. when the Prime Minister um, rang that bell because there's more than 100 countries, immediate access, that would have seen him, um, heard him talk about Trinidad and Tobago. And it was really a special, special moment for me. One of my one of the things I would never forget mm -hmm. my time there. The well, I, I can tell you, I was very, very proud. Yeah. For days, I was just walking around, playing back the thing, listening to <laughs> yes, it, because yes. it was so exciting. But, you know, yeah. but you're giving all that up to come back home. Yes, to serve. I, am. I mean, um, I think the Prime Minister on Sunday talks about the political bug. So I guess I have that. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that he was talking to the candidates, you know, and he talked about his experience and, you know, the political bug. So I, I kind of, I can adopt that. Mm -hmm. that I, I, I got, I, I'm bitten a bit by the bug. <laughs> All yeah. right. So yeah. Trinidad and Tobago, we have Miss Penny, Penelope Beckles Robinson with us live in studio this morning. You can go on the live streams which is the Street 919 FM Facebook page, YouTube, Street Street live stream, and Iowa TV also on YouTube. Sharon, I forgot to take note of the fact that your hair is also red. I don't know if yeah. I'm that brave, but you know. No, you must try it. You will like it. <laughs> You were like it looks it. good. It looks good. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. I'm not giving it up for the world. Yeah. <laughs> so tell Trinidad. Well, of course, everybody know who Penelope Beckles is, but I want you to still tell Trinidad and Tobago who is Penny Beckles. Okay. Well, and where is Penny Beckles from? Tell them. Who okay. Well, I'm, I'm originally from San Fernando, and I I um I came to live in Arima. Uh, you know, when I was 16. Okay. So, um, you know, that's just the other day. Yeah, that's just, I mean, you could tell, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, so Arima has been my home for a long time. My father worked at Trinand Home Developers Limited. Um, as a result of that, one of the conditions was to come and live in Arima. So having moved from San Fernando to Arima, I mean, I got involved in politics there. I started off in local government. Um, well, you, you have been in local government, mm -hmm. so you know that local government is probably one of the best um, best starting points yes, as a politician. Is. And I heard you talking a while ago about dif differentiation between what is the, the councillor and what is the member of parliament, the rule. But I would tell you that when you, as a member of parliament or as a candidate, when you're walking, people are not concerned no, about the differentiation. Yeah. Um, what they see you as is from the same political party um, and also as a politician and they believe that even though that may not be a responsibility they think that you can have an impact so that yes when I'm walking whether it's garbage collection whether it, it really doesn't matter I mean they, they expect you to know about it and they also expect that even it doesn't even if it does not fall directly under your responsibility that you will contact the councillor you can contact the mayor you will contact the borough so um what it what it really means is also the development of relationships and yes. networking that allows you to be able to share your experiences um and also to let the councillor know at times because they don't know every single thing that's going on in the area something could have happened in the morning two days ago and um that, so I, I started off in local government, so then I became an opposition senator, opposition MP. I served in cabinet um, um, and then an ambassador. I'm a lawyer by profession. I, I was called to the bar in 1988. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's it in terms of my political career. I mean, I'm, I'm married. Um, I uh, adopted my, my sister's daughter, my sister who died, uh, Mackenzie, and um, I have four other stepchildren. Excellent. Yeah. So you're full, you engage, you have a full slate. Yes. yes. So Trinidad and Tobago, the ads are coming up. Um, but before we go to the ads, so tell me representation of Arima. Yes. 
you know um you are now the candidate um tell me how you're going to you know deal well, with probably you know, i mean i want to, to talk a little bit no no quickly before well, i'll just tell you the constituency of arima mm -hmm. because people a lot of people don't know that arima actually starts in well you could say uh, all the way in las cuevas mm -hmm. okay so you have the villages of la Fellette, blanchiches mon lacqua paria heights of arima i mean we bound with toko so paria which is the village just before matlot we'll be back guys don't shift your dial Talk your talk, but we know talk. Come talk with us. The street, nine one nine, August. So we're talking about Arima, and we're talking yes, to the candidates. Just, yeah, yeah. I'm just giving completing the yes. boundaries. So I say we we basically bound with Matlot, Matlot Parry, and of you course, are? yes, yes. Yeah. So far, yes, yes. So far, right. I mean, those are lovely villages on the north coast, and and then so Valencia again would be your eastern boundary, and yes. the southern. Um, would be the highway. I so I mean, you're bounding with La Hoqueta. Now understand yes, all of you. Monroe and yes, 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 yes. And then um, on the western side, it's basically would be the Dabadi, Omera, and Lupino Bonnet constituency. Excellent. So, so I mean, Arima is as wide as it is broad. I mean, rural, agricultural, urban, industrial, and of course, we are the only royal chartered borough in the Caribbean. Mm -mm. Yes. You hear that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us how is your walk well you start walking yes how is yes. it going what's the response no like? the response has been great i mean you know a lot of people are happy to see me back i mean politics is very energizing sharon mm -hmm. you you know if it's it's wonderful to be able to get um you know positive responses and even people who are either critical um the you know criticisms are constructive or you meet people who may not support the party but there there hasn't really been any hostility some people say well you know speckles i, I don't support the pnm but i'm still happy to see you oh, but but generally and and people raise with you concerns um whatever they they expect you to do during the time they ask you what you're going to do different they want to find out what you were doing all the time but it's been it's been very very interesting exciting and i just want to remind people that those of you who have not yet um done your registration or you want to change you only have up until the 9th of july to ensure that your name is on the voters list for the election on the 10th of august uh -huh. So Trinidad and Tobago, we can take some calls if you like. Um, we we'll take some calls. I, I mainly want to get some calls from Arima, but before we take the calls, so I'm going to ask you sure. now: Are you coming to me? And I'm going to ask you, but Miss Beckles, what are you going to bring to Arima? What are you going to do for us in Arima? You know, that's what you just get, eh? Yeah. What are you giving me? Yeah. That's yeah. how it is. Yeah, sure. So how you would answer that question? Well, I mean, a lot of that is based on your knowledge of the area because the area, as you see, is very wide. Um. I mean, for the time that I served, uh, I mean, I did a lot in terms of issues of electricity and infrastructure, but now I know that the one of the major problems still in Arima, like many other places, is the issue of water. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, there's a relationship between demand and supply. The, the Karani Water Treatment Plant, Mr. Hans has advised me, I mean, the water levels are still not where you want it to be so you are managing but particularly the some of the areas of calvary mount pleasant and even um places like vignali alion street um and pinto sometimes you know um, mount pleasant i know that there have been challenges so i mean one of your priorities is really to work with um with wasa to see what we can do to improve um the water supply I mean, my dream is making Arima what we call a smart city, and a smart city really has to do with technology. People being able to access, you know, whether it's a boot certificate or whatever, in a much easier way, um, but it really requires um, technology, educating the young people about the use of, of smartphones, um, being much more knowledgeable about technology. And COVID in itself has, mm -hmm. has taught us, I mean, when you look at, at the challenges young people can face in terms of education, not just young, but virtually everybody that has been affected, you know, you realize that in previous years, most of us felt that you have to go to work for work to be done. And now we are realizing that you have to design um, work around the possibility that you may have to stay home and mm -hmm. recognize that it can be done so how do we ensure sustainability of education and the delivery of services to people in a post-covid environment um, and what could you do, you do uh, differently because 
I think that even when you deal with issues of domestic violence or crime, the extent to which you can easily access the police, you know, you, you, I mean, you have traveled, Sharon, and you would have seen that you can v go virtually everywhere and you see all these pools that are set up mm -hmm. where you can easily call here, even do your homework earlier, easier, sorry, you can purchase things a lot easier. I mean, it, it calls for us to, to transform our way of thinking. Um, so that life can be made easily, but it means that we have to be educated in terms of technology. So you want, you Arima is a basket. I mean, you, when you look at where we are located in the context of, of food, I mean, you have the Wallafield farmers, you have the farmers, um, we, the flora and fauna that comes from Heights of a Repo, that comes from Paria, um, virtual tourism. You know, you don't necessarily have to travel to access the beauty of the Northern Range and all those villages there. So, uh, you know, I, I'm just thinking that we have to be a little more creative. Mm -hmm. We are rich in our culture in Arima, you know, Kitchener, um, the art. How could you make that more accessible to people? How could you have people more creative? And how could you really, um, how could you really improve the standard of living? Because there are some villages that are still challenged. So you don't just assume that when you think of Arima, that you, you are not conscious of the fact that there are people who want a better standard of living. You want the farmers to deal with the issue of pre deal lastly. So there are a number of things. I mean, I, I know the area very well um, and I am conscious that it's not a one size fits all, mm -hmm. but there are different communities and you try your best to treat with them with a certain amount of equality. Excellent. And what about the young people? Yeah. You yeah. know, they cry these days is, I ain't getting nothing yeah, and yeah. didn't doing nothing for me how are you going to deal with that yeah. and I mean therein lies again the issue of the technology because I think that if you allow them to for their creative talents to develop they too can help us it's not only we helping them mm -hmm. but they also helping us so um, how can I how could we also um, find a way to harness their creativity and their development. I mean, they are very clear in their mind that we don't have to tell them what to do. Um, so you allow them a space to talk and to say, how can this work for us? And how can we also help in terms of some of the challenges that you have? So I, I think for me, first and foremost is always, as I said in my interview some time ago, listen to them a little more. Don't always feel that we know what is best for mm -hmm. them. Um, and don't underestimate that their access to technology has allowed them to develop some ideas and some solutions that would that would kind of almost shock us. Um, we know that with the challenge with the economy, the likelihood is that we are going to have some sort of challenges in terms of issues of unemployment. But you have to you have to give them hope. You know, you have to find ways and means where they feel that in every decision that we make, that we consider them. And I think that's that's what's most important. Excellent. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's 8.10 a.m. And we can take some calls on 342-0081-771-1791-466-5391. And our foreign line overseas, if you need to use it, it's 718-874-3860. So while we await your calls, if you want to call in and talk to Miss Penelope Beckles Robinson, and of course we can take some calls from Arima. That would be so so nice this morning. First caller, caller. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good, good morning. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say um, I'm so excited about Miss Beckles running for Arima. I met her in 2003, and I had asked her. I was just like 14 at the time, and I asked her for some help and she said what did you what do you need and i said i needed to change schools because i was given a little trouble in the school i was going to <laughs> and and she she did it you know i walked away and i received a call from her office me and my mom and i got the transfer and i just want to say that really changed my life i went to that new school and i ended up going to university and I just want to say thanks, and I'm really excited that you're running again. Oh, thank you so very All much. All the best. Thank you. Thank you very much, you see? And that's what we were just saying. People don't forget. Remember what we were just yes, saying? Yes. So people don't forget. So guys, call me up. I would rather have some calls from Arima first, if I can get that caller. Good morning. 
Good morning. This is Mata Marima. Oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Becker. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank I miss you so much. It's just when I tell you this Okay. Who is this? Um, when we were in Labria, we were in Labria at time, and he had a meeting in um in Sibon in or put E setting. Okay. And he was running late. Okay. And I was chairing a meeting. And I had to talk, 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 oh, talk, yes. talk, oh, talk. God, yes, you boy. And you real talk for me, <laughs> boy. Oh, God, you talk and you talk. And, you, and I reached there about 12 o'clock. The night. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit yeah, yeah. late. Yeah, yeah I reached yeah, real late. Talk yeah, and I, I appreciated that. And that's part. And the people waited, you know? Yeah, and we so finished we that meeting at yes. one o'clock that morning, about one half yeah. past one. Yes, great. Thank you so very uh, much. Hi. Okay, great. Thank you, my dear. Mm. So, guys, call us up 3420081 Call her. Good morning. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning to Mr. Beckles. <laughs> you get the handle already. <laughs> Just say yes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you going? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm okay. I met you some years ago with your brother. Yes. I work with your brother. Right? Okay. So, um, welcome back. Thank you very much. Ah. Sharon. Yes, sir. I tell you to T11, ticket man here. We take in to T C through the PNM. Mm. Thank you very much. And eleven you for the others. Okay, I've taken that. We, 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 we <laughs> still need like somebody to wrap up wrap in the parliament. Mm -hmm. All right then. All Have right, a blessed day. All right, ticket man. Yeah. Caller, good morning. I thought I was good in Mark morning. this morning. I know when I gonna play that, you know. Caller, good morning. <laughs> Hello, good morning to you all. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning to good you, my morning. dear. Good morning. First of all, I want to, you know, thank you for returning back into Trinidad to represent the people of Arima. Thank you. And I want to say to you, you're a strong woman, honestly. I've known you quite some years. And I remember the days you used to come down to Diego Martin West whenever we have meetings. Yeah. You and Mr. Hines always stand side by side with Dr. Rowell. You remember those days? Yes, I do. Right. So I want to thank you once again, you understand me? You have an idea of speaking to you, I'll tell you speaking to you. You remember Carnival Tuesday we met by the hospital there and we took the test? <laughs> Myself, you and Dr. Oak. Yes, I do remember that. I do remember I, that. Yeah, but I do yeah. speaking to you, yes, you understand I do, me? I do, I remember and that. I always remember, Ms. Beckles, you always stand side by side. You and Mr. Hines with Dr. Oli. I will never forget that. So all that I wish you, sweetheart, good luck, good luck. And just bring it to him, and I know you're going to bring it to him first. I know that. Great is the PNM. Great, Great is the PNM. And, it shall and we be real. will prevail. Thank Have you. a good one. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Grandy, good morning. <coughs> good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Ms. Beckers. Good morning. Good morning. I call to congratulate Ms. Beckers on a job well done in the United Nations. Thank you very Ms. much. Ms. Beckers, yes. you have represented Trinidad and Tobago on the highest level that you have put us back on the map that which we wasn't there that 2010 to 2015 so i thank you and i wish you all the best of luck in the coming future going up in arima and i look in the future for you to be the second prime minister woman prime minister of trader and tobago you have a, have a nice day thank you very much, thank you very much. Overseas caller, good morning. Good morning, Ms. Becker. Good morning, good morning. I want to tell you something. All the people I don't want to see Ms. Becker lately. This woman been drinking by the juice for so much years. Hey, Mr. Napuna. And that is very Mr. Napuna, you're, Mr. Napuna, you're not in Trinidad? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you're using the overseas line? Yeah. You're full man, there, man. You're full man, there. I'm not going to go there, though. I'm not going to finish the man. All right. Uh, all this right. is what I realize. You never say you're drinking that is the juice. True and true. And that is the function of you. But that is why I watched you yesterday walking. Yeah. I said, but this woman ain't getting old, boy. <laughs> 
Thank you, Mr. Rapuna. Thank you. Jenny? I'm morning. This morning, I started. Good morning, Mrs. Penelope. Good Decker. morning, morning Jenny. Good morning. Right. Yeah. Hi, and morning, Miss Felix. Morning, Bruce. Morning. Miss mm-hmm. Felix and Miss um, Beckles, it's yeah. always a pleasure when you hear women of the PNM speak. You feel a sense of calm, reason. You hear logic. You know you're confident in when they speak. But when you hear the other side, Oh my God, it's chaos, mayhem, and bacchanal. And I just want to say, Ms. Beckles, Robinson, thank you for your service to Trinidad and Tobago. And in any way that you can come back and uh, you're back to help, to, you know, for Dr. Rowley and the PNM to get back into office, we want that. Because on the other side, when we look, we're scared, we are frightened. This is about leadership in this election and about saving lives. And Dr. Rowley has shown leadership. And he has shown, along with the government and medical professionals, that they are saving lives. So we'll do everything in our power to make sure PNM gets back into office. Because we see in the horrific stories outside with COVID-19. Yes. And our government, led by our transformational leader, Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley, and the medical team, and our Minister of Health, has been able to follow procedures and protocol. And we are where we are now. We feel safe and confident. We don't want that to change. Because Alma K. Baker and a bunch of traitors, their remedy for the COVID is to open up the board so we could get infected and we'll build antibodies and to open the bars we can drink punch in a line and that will help us and then go out in the sun because the sun will help. <laughs> that is their cure for COVID-19. Jenny, and you're not easy. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm telling no, you. No, no, no. I, it's well, serious, you, you yeah, know? It is serious because you would have heard when I spoke, I spoke at the beginning, I said that our political leader and prime minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, is getting yes. worldwide recognition yes, for his science, excellent yes. management of COVID-19. Of and Jenny, what people forget is that Dr. Rowley is a volcanologist. Dr. Mm-hmm. Rowley, yes, and a, a, yes, and, and, and a scientist. And that is what he has done. He is He has That's utilized his skills as a scientist. Yes. I mean, we are aware that he... he in many countries in the Caribbean, where he dealt with issues relating to the volcano, he was yes. able to bring that experience, use it in COVID, and understand right. that you have to lead based on science, and the yes. policies that you develop have to be influenced by data, by empirical, international data yes. and empirical, empirical data. data, and that is why he has done, the government and the PNM has done such an excellent yes. job, and I endorse what you said. Um, yes. And we look forward to his continued leadership of and course. his successful management of COVID. And we, we celebrate that. We cannot afford to sleep, Miss Beckles. We cannot. Yes. We have to jump out of our slumber, get out of our homes, and make sure on the 10th of August we go out and give our support resoundingly. We want that 13 or 30 we go in and so that when Dr. Rowley and the government has to do any policy legislation, that he has the three-fifth majority, you don't have to wait. Listen, and we're looking forward to a new opposition at the end of the day. We're able with that woman. Miss Beckers, it's so nice to hear you, darling. Thank, thank you we very much, Jenny. Take. Sure. Feel it. Yes, do do. <laughs> <laughs> Caller, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to my friend. Good morning. Miss Beckers Robinson. You know who's speaking to you? I'm not sure yet about that. This is Gemma, Gemma DJ. All right, Gemma. Oh, Gemma. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God bless you. I have to do with some of them back in times music, boy. But Sharon, not easy, you know. When you see Sharon start, so boy. You can't do no work, you know. I know, I know. All God blessed on you, you, my very lady. Much. Thank you very well, much. Well, I have to vote for my girl, the Mayor of Arima. Lovely, lovely. So, i red and ready. Red and I ready. I have six. I had five, well, I have six red jersey right now. Okay. So, I'm waiting to get one more. Okay. Every day I put on a red jersey. Nice. You know? The whole week. So, one f- one uh, for every yes, day of the one, week. One a day. One nice. a day. Yes, Beautiful. yes. Yes. All God bless you, my lady. Thank you very much. And we go in faith. 
victory for the PNL. Victory. Okay. All the way, yes. Right. Okay. God, God bless you, my lady. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Um, I think I have Salim here. Salim? Good morning, Auntie Tara. Good morning, my darling. How are you doing? I'm lovely. A wind is blowing through the constituency of Arima, <laughs> and that strong wind is saying, Penny, Penny, Penny. Mm-hmm. The young the people is ready to come out and support, and we are happy to have her back. And she comes with, uh, with, 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 of course, uh, several political years of experience, and more importantly, international experience, and we welcome her back. Thank you very much. Thank you, Salim. All right. Okay. Great. <laughs> All right. And Salim was the past chairman of the Youth League. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Caller, good morning. I don't think I lost you there. Overseas line, caller, good morning. Overseas line. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Felix. Good morning, Mr. Bexel. Good morning, Bruce. Um, this is Bexel. Welcome back to Trinidad. Thank you. Watched you on online because I'm calling from abroad. Yes. Um, it's good that a good breeze has blown in the air and you've decided to head back to Trinidad to run for Riva. We both have a mutual friend, Mr. Joseph. So, um, you know, he's a big supporter of yours. The only thing he's not living in Arima to vote for you. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure his support he gives good, good energy, good point. energy. Yes. But um, it's good that you're, you're back in the constituency where you belong. And I, I am going to call this election from here. I've already called it, and I'm going to call it from here. Um, have no fear. PNM will be right back there. Um, you know, and I, I don't believe Pamela will be the opposition. Um, we'll, we'll see, but whether, if or not, because, you know, their, their, their side is a bit shaken at the moment, you know. Um, can't just, you, you, you can't be shifting things and dropping things on people like that and expect, the world not to, or even your constituents not to be looking at you. So um, we will see. But I'm I'm saying um, PNM. Okay, we're gonna. We, we're gonna I, I'm not there to vote, obviously. But um, I can call it. Telling you, I called it last time. I'm gonna call it again. Thank you um, so very much. And all the best to you on the 10th of August. Thank you. Today, have a lovely day. Thank okay, you, my bye. darling Terry. And that's our Terry all the way from the UK. Yeah, Sharon. I just wanted to say because I know you are. The PRO in the Women's League. No, and no. You, I'm the secretary. Secretary. Now. Oh, you were the PRO before. Yes, before. Secretary, right. Yeah. Lisa and I mean, is now the PRO. Right. And I was going to say congratulations to the present Mayor of Arima, yes. who was last night selected as the candidate for David Yomer. And I'm sure the Women's League is exceptionally proud we'll be happy like of, happy. The, of the fact we have two, of the women. Know, yes. We have, we have three persons. Yes. We have our chairman, yes. Mrs. Cami robinson Regis. We have Sharon Archie, who is the assistant secretary, and now the PRO. Yes. Um, and we go Lisa, back, of course, to the, the words of Eric Williams, where he said, the, you know, that the women and the backbone of the party. I mean, you know that from being actively involved in the yes. politics. And I just want to celebrate the women of the party this morning um, because I know as someone who has been involved in politics for a long time that they, they definitely are there with you every day on the field doing the mm-hmm. canvassing, you know, just about every single thing, whether it's the hospitality, whether it's talking on the platform, but ensuring victory for the party and for the candidates. And I celebrate them this morning. Thank you so much. Mommy Sauce? Hi, good morning, Miss Felix. Morning good to morning. Bruce. Morning to Miss Penny. Morning, morning, Mommy. How Sos. are you? How are I you? Am, I am wonderful. I haven't heard from you for a little while. I think yes. I lost your number. Yes, so. and I lost yours too because I lost my phone. And yeah. Okay, that's all why. All the numbers gone. Okay. And well, we'll, we'll be back in track. Time. I'll get it yes. from Sharon. Yes, I'll get uh, it. Yes, yes. Um, well, I want to say welcome back. And I know that you're going to do a remark. And as the guy yeah. said before, there's a breeze, a fresh breeze blowing over Arima, and that's good, right? Yes, so good. all the best to you. Good, and I'm looking tenth. forward to chatting with you. Good. Yes, yes, we will. Right, so all the best to you on the 10th of August, yes. and you will be suffering. And Mommy Sauce, just remind yes. people that they have up until the 9th of yes. July. Okay? Yes, yes, to yes, change. I yes. Up yes. last tomorrow. Night I had a, yes. I had my conversation with, with Well, they said nine tonight. more days, so it's longer than that. I think it's okay, the 17th. Yeah. yeah. I had yeah. some um, conversation last night with some young guys trying to get them out. Well, they are kind of halfway to them. So yeah. I just want a little, a halfway again, and I'll get there to them. Wonderful. Nice. Yes. Nine so, more days. 
Yes. So you take care and we love you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you, Sarah. Marisol. Yes, Dudu. Let me just say a happy birthday to Sweet Sauce today. Eh, eh. Yeah, Chad today's her birthday. Say, yeah, nah? mm -hmm. Today's Sweet Sauce birthday. <laughs> Food, on day, yeah. Yeah. Food on the house. Food on the house. Okay, that is um, yeah, that is birthday. Sauce sauce birthday. Sauce. Yeah, right. sauce last daughter. All right, so okay, everybody darling. take care, love you all. Bye. Thank you so much. All right, so it's 8.27 a.m. Taking your calls, you have to go to a break in the next two minutes and ten seconds. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning. This is Jared. Jared. I'm good. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> morning, Jared. Jared. Here. Morning, and, Jared. And, and, um, pleasant good morning, honorable lady. Yes. Miss Penelope Beckers Robinson. Uh, welcome back. I just want to say welcome back, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in government. Yes. Um, under... An excellent team of Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley at 30 for 11. Okay, all right, <laughs> good. Yes, but I'm a mark today, boy. Hmm. I'm playing that mark yeah? today. I have to play that yeah. topic too. I'm always 13. We were at the final, you know. 30. All right, um, and I mean, um, 30 is house cat. Oh. And 11 is Kobo. Oh. House cat <laughs> eating the Kobo. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's, it's really a pleasure having you again, Miss. Well, Miss um Miss Beckers, it's really a pleasure. Um and I mean you know, I'll say welcome back, keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. And Sharon. Yes, sir. Sharon, yes, you're, sir. you are so excellent, eh? Oh, keep it up. Thank you. Keep very it up. Much. I, 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 I feel I sort of have a rejuvenation when I turn on to this session in the morning. <laughs> Thank you, my dear Gerald. All right, so take care. Okay, darling. Bye. Thanks a lot. Now, I have just, oh gosh, I've seen an overseas line. A caller. Caller, can you talk quick? Caller? Hello? Yes, good morning. You have 40 seconds. Talk to Miss Beckles. Morning. Just want to say hi to Miss Penelope Beckles. How are you? From the Liverpool, Alison, oh, Marion, and okay, Kevin. Okay, the Liverpool, we love you. wow. We train and we know Liverpool, that big, election big family in Arima. is the PNM. Thank you so much. Good. Thank you very much. All right, guys. We're going to the break. When we come back, we're taking more of your calls. Don't shift your dial. Talk. Come talk with us on the street 919, 919 FM. FM. Arima! <laughs> the titans of democracy on yeah. the street 919 FM. Wait, what? <laughs> it's all about. So Trinidad and Tobago, we are back and it's 8.41 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. Today is the 8th of July, 2020. And again, we're saying happy birthday to all who celebrating the birthdays yesterday, today, and the days ahead. And before we do anything else, let me just tell you, Iowa Stage, the series of virtual concert is on again. This week's lineup, Thursday, 9th July, Pan Night, Friday, 10th July, Calypso Night, Saturday, 11 July, Soka Night, and Sunday, 12 July, Comedy Cookup. Iowa Stage will be streaming live from Instagram at Iowa George and The Street 919 FM, Facebook, Neil Iowa George and The Street 919 FM, YouTube, Iowa George and Street Online Trinidad. 
This concert is free, but if you wish to make a donation to our guests, you are free to do so on fundmetnt.com. Don't forget to tune in and be a part of these dynamic series of concerts. I will, judge, uh, I will stage one-on-one -on -one with the artists, supported by Tuco, taking care of business through our music. Pantry and Bago and Youth Store, Lady Hills Avenue in San Fernando. At Mohammed's Bookstore, you can check out our specials on textbooks, stationery, school supplies, school uniforms, children's storybooks, puzzles of all sizes, and many more. You can query your book list and get an email when books arrive. Bring Mohammed's Bookstore closer to you as everything is now at your fingertips as you can log on to our website on www.mohammedsbookstore.com. We have five locations nationwide. Areas include Tunapuna, San Fernando, West Moorings, Gulf View, and Port of Spain. Opening hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Thursday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on a Friday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday, and 8 a.m. to 12 noon on a Sunday. Call us today at our Tunapuna branch on 647-7355, San Fernando branch on 657-1012, West Moorings branch 637-6551, Gulfview branch 657-9613, or Port of Spain branch 627-3341. Like our page and follow us on F Facebook, Mohammed's Bookstore, and Instagram at Mohammed's Bookstore. Change of Hours Trinidad and Tobago Eastern Credit Union Cooperative Society Limited would like to advise its members of the following change of office. Hours for all branches. Sandy Grandi, Arima, Tunapuna, St. Joseph, Port of Spain, Chagona, San Fernando and Tobago. Monday to Thursday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Friday, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and we open at 3 to 5 p.m. Please note that the Bartara branch remains closed at this time in adherence with social distancing protocol. We apologize for any inconvenience caused and encourage members to utilize call center online access by downloading our mobile app from Google Play Store from, uh, for Android or iTunes for Apple users and our ATM links service, which are all available to maintain ample social distancing during this time. So we go back to the lines, but before we take the call, I know uh, Mrs. Beckles wanted to see something. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, just two things. I mean, one most important is to um, to thank the people who have been working with me. Of course, to thank the political leader and the screening committee for having selected me. I know the central executive met, uh, met this on, week. We met on, on Monday, 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 Monday to confirm, yeah. and that's where my candidacy was confirmed. Of course, the next order of business is nomination day, which mm -hmm. is next week, Friday. Um, and also to acknowledge the sitting member of parliament, the Honorable Minister of Education, um, Mr. Anthony Garcia, for his work in Arima over the last five years. Um, I mean, we know that in terms of PNM and Arima and representation and governance, it's always a question of, of passing the battle. We know that um, those before me have contributed to Arima and to the success of the PNM. And I mean, the battle has been passed, and I acknowledge and thank him, his staff, um, and all the people of Arima who have made um, the lives of the people of Arima better over the last five years. Yes, that's my very good friend, Mr. Anthony Garcia. He know yeah. we love him, love him, love him. Yeah. Let me take the calls again. Massachusetts, you're online. Yes, good morning and blessings again, Ms. Felix. And um, let me um, apologize. Ambassador Beckles Robinson. Let Thank me you. apologize for having you waiting, but I didn't want to lose you. I know you wanted to speak with us. No, listen, yes. it's, it's worth the wait, especially mm -hmm. to be honored to speak to the ambassador. <laughs> ambassador, I'd like to ask you a specific, specific question about water. Yes. The desalination plant was a failure, very expensive. Uh, on the floor, senators have said it would have been better to drill wells, utilize water runoffs, and even uh, dredge reservoirs. Can you elaborate a little, uh, a little bit? Because I know a lot of people are calling. Can you elaborate a little bit on what, on how the water supply could be increased by using these three techniques? Thank you, I'll hang up and listen. Okay. Well, Thank first of all, um, Sharon, thanks for that question. I'm not an expert at water. And I know he said the desalination plant is a failure. What I would say is in terms of the issue of delivery of supply of water, 
I mean, clearly not only just government, but all governments take a multifaceted approach. So the desalination plant was one of the in interventions. I mean, you also drill wells, you also have uh, the reservoirs. So it's not one approach. I mean, what, part of our challenge has been we have been losing a lot of water because some of the pipes are still very old. I mean, it has been a process, an ongoing process of changing the lines. So, I mean, as I said in the beginning, uh, it is an issue I worked with um, um, the member the, well, the member of parliament to be for the Laoketa Talparo area. Foster Cummins on Saturday uh, in Laoketa, those the issues of water was also raised. Um, so the truth is that we are aware that we still have some work to do in, in, the, in the area of water, but it will not be any one intervention it, until we get it comfortable where we have what you call uh, uh, people having a regular supply of water. It will need several interventions, mm -hmm. which may very well include, as exists at present, the desalination plant. Mm. Thank you very much. Carla, good morning. Paula, are you there? Gosh. Miss Sharon, yes, I'm here. Sorry about that. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, Miss Beckers. Good morning to you. Miss Beckers, do you remember Virginia Balbusa? Yes. You are her lawyer. Am I, I am her niece. Yes. Yeah, she you are from. Yes. I am her niece. She has passed. But yes. anyway, I want to wish you success. And I know you're going to win your seat. Miss Sharon. Yes. It's 30 and 11 is what I'm telling you, but you have to play it and pick tooth and reverse it. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do that today as we leave here. And everybody <laughs> calling about everybody calling about those two numbers, you know. But listen, Miss, 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 Miss Penny. Yes, yes my dear. Yes. Sharon Felix, I tell you. This is Miss Gloria, Miss, Miss Penny. Miss Gloria. Sharon is 30 and 11 for Makela Pandy. Bye-bye, Kamala. Bye-bye. Amen. Mm. Have a blessed day, darling, and you're winning your seat in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Miss Gloria. All right, Miss Gloria. Manu. Morning, Miss Beckles. Morning. Morning, the friend of the Vigo. Well, I want everybody really to know a stall war is coming back, and we will put you in the world. And as you know, people are put you in place right there. And I say thank to Mr. Anthony Garcia, that's my good friend. Yeah. I help push him to make him whatever what he is because, you know, we come from the same place. I make him a president of a club, and after that, he moved from there, went right straight on. And I hope that um you do the best you could in Arima, and I know the people love you. And uh, you know me, you know me too, you know. I, I'm very custom officer, and you remember custom officer, and Marie? Of course, of course. Okay, that's my friend. Okay. So the, you know that I know you, and you know me. Good. So best of luck to you. Thank you very and much. And love the train and the big go. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for coming back home to serve our country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mano. But Mano, you yeah, easier could well talk. <laughs> Caller, good morning. Good morning, Sharon. Yallery. Good morning, Mrs. Penelope Beckles. Good morning, Yallery. How are you? <laughs> I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. That's watching the chick and chick stars in the UN, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Watch from afar. <laughs> yes, I want to say, um, Ms. Beckles, I want to wish you all the best on that, um, on that Arima seat. And I know you're going to do the Arimian throw. Right. Thank you very much, Charlie. Um, Sharon, well, um, well, I'm the little this is now because I hear my name calling up for one of one. I'm the little low. I'm the low profile right now. Who calling up your name? I, I, I will, I will keep a low profile right oh, now. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, darling. <laughs> right, but I was saying, when all the, 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 sorry, there's a name I and all the listeners are 919. And Juliet, good morning. <laughs> and, um, well, just, I'm trying to just hear this thing, and now we're from, from Hadley, but so let's enjoy the little session we have to do here. Okay, darling. All right, Mr. 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 have a good morning and all the best. Thank, Thank you. It. Thank you okay. very much. All right, so guys, this is where I have to stop the calls. Caller, overseas line. Oh. Yes, hello, good morning. Good morning. This is Mr. 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 Liverpool. Good morning, Mr. Becker. Oh, my my Liverpool. ambassador in the business. How are you? I wish you all the best from Liverpool family. Yes. Sorry, we won't be home to vote for you. Yes. But you want a Liverpool family are behind you. Good. From Aripo, Serena. We're backing you all. Sure. Once you say Liverpool, 
Once you say Liverpool, you say Arima. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know that. Yes. So God bless you. And remember that conversation we had a couple of years ago on Song to Back Tuesday? Yes, yes. I guess it has uh, come to pass, my dear. Yes, yes. Blessings uh, and blessings and blessings again from the Liverpool family. I appreciate that very much. And say hello to everyone for me. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, Trinidad and Tobago. I can't take any more calls. It's 8.51 and we leave at 8.55. So I want to give Miss Mrs. Penny Beckles Robinson the opportunity to give a closing comments and to tell you that you're welcome anytime you want to come back. You know, you just have to call me. Yeah, sure. You know? Well, Sharon, say thanks of all to you and to Bruce um, and to just acknowledge the work you do on the station. I mean, um, promoting the party, um, energizing the... The people, um, the PNM people in particular, <laughs> um, um, and you know, because it's not easy to be on the radio virtually every day. So mm -hmm. I just want to acknowledge the work that you have been doing for the for the PNM and for the Women's League. Um, and just to remind the voters, I mean, I'm here on the radio. I'm here on 91.9, um, and let us take this election seriously. I know that things, you know, people have issues because as a politician, you walk and you hear the issues. But I want us to remember. The good work that the people's national movement has done over the years um the party may not always do enough to market um, its successes um, but let us look at the successes of the pnm in many different fields in the area of education and healthcare. i mean we now have uh, the arima hospital the prime minister recently opened the point for 14 hospital and you see that they are delivering on their promises um, and for me in particular, as a, as a woman, I, I see the advancement of women. I see the benefits of, of education, primary, secondary, tertiary education. Um, I've seen the infrastructure that the PNM has been involved in in the, developing the lives of Trinidadians and Tobagonians. Um, and having been at the UN and you talk to Trinidadians who have been there in the diaspora, who tell you from time to who tell us from time to time they come home and they see the transformation of the country um, this is an important election let us not lose sight of the importance of returning the people's national movement to continue the good work that they have been doing in all those various areas that i have indicated i mean you have to simply remember that you are comparing um, the People's National Movement, their work, their integrity, their credibility, the work Dr. Rowley has been doing over the years and his various ministers, and never, never, never lose sight of particularly that period between uh, 2010 and 2015. Okay, you have to, re it, I mean, it's, it's still there, it's fresh in your mind. And if you remember those days, the question you ask yourself, do you want to return to that or do you want to return to good leadership? good governance, someone with integrity, somebody who loves Trinidad and Tobago. I say vote for the PNM come the 10th of August 2020. I'm looking forward to be your next member of parliament for Arima. Excellent. So Trinidad and Tobago, this is where we leave it. Talk to you tomorrow morning. We're gone. Ciao. <laughs> Day talk. You talk. Come talk with us. On the streets. 919, 919 FM. 919